thank you, Dean and uh, Brother Reverend Dr. William Barber. Uh, greetings. Uh, it's important to place this public hearing and the testimonies by mental health workers in the context to better understand what they are, what they are up against in the struggle for fair standards, working conditions, democratic rights, and empowerment. The conditions faced by mental health workers and all public sector workers in varying degrees are directly related to state policies of banning the right of public sector workers to collective bargaining. When state governments deny the right by law, it sends a message to all state administrators that they don't have to listen to or act on the issues raised by the workers. Mm -hmm. This affects the quality of delivery of public services, especially those who are providing health care to other human beings. This violation has been deemed a violation of sections of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which all countries are expected to abide by. Uh, the panel, you have in your packets uh, uh, a ruling by the International Labor Organization, the body of the United Nations, uh, that found North Carolina and the U.S. as being out of compliance with international law. ILO also, uh, in its ruling, offered to assist the state of North Carolina in setting up a framework for collective bargaining. However, North Carolina has not responded, nor has there even been a discussion within the legislature about the ILO ruling uh, and the offer of assistance. And we think it's very important that at least this discussion be taken up in the legislature. There's also a complaint by the Nas uh, to the National Administrative Office of Canada that was filed by the Canadian Association of Labor Lawyers charging the U.S. and North Carolina with being out of compliance with the North American Agreement on Labor Cooperation, which was a sidebar of the, of the NAFTA agreement. What that says essentially is that there's no fair trade when the working conditions for workers, including the right to collective bargaining, are denied. The campaign for legislative uh, mental health workers' bill of rights is especially important during this economic crisis. As state budget cuts have no bottom line to ensure basic human rights to quality health care and public services. No bottom line. They will cut, 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 no matter who it hurts, the workers and the patients. Mm -hmm. Support for, le for legislative mental health workers' bill of rights is support for quality health care. There's no separation between the conditions that workers face and their ability to provide quality health care. The very submitting of a legislative bill will provide a platform for mental health workers to play a major role in building a movement and a fight for a bottom line. Again, a fight for a bottom line that ensures human rights uh, for, 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 for workers and for patients. Thank you. Thank you.